everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event. 12 rounds flyweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. There's that overhand right. Scores with the combo to the head. Keep those hands up. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Just 10 seconds to go in this round. The Latin Snake's not putting forth the defense you need to have at this level of the game. No, but you got to come here with it, Joe. You know, it's easy for you and me to sit back and say, hey, you got to block punches, you got to move your head, you got to evade punches, use your legs. But if you haven't been taught that, and believe it or not, this is boxing 101, this is basic rudiments, basic fundamentals. Some guys have not been taught their defensive skills. Don't fight his fight. A little head hunting with the right. Gonzalez is at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. The Latin Snake's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Gonzalez's combination punching is working well here. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Hey, keep your hands right on the mark. Double jab. We got it. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Okay, you're doing fine. But listen to me. We got to do a little more. We have to pull ahead of this round, okay? I need more than one punch from you now. One and one. Bro. Go punches, okay? Don't just go. And round number three is underway. The Latin Snake's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Able to dismiss it. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Come on! Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Latin Snake. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. The Latin Snake's putting his punches you know. together now. That's a nice combination. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You, go. you got that? You have to take a risk. All right, listen. We need to create more counters, okay? Keep boxing smart, in and out, side to side. You understand? We got it.
Gonzalez is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Good defensive skill. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Blocks the headshot. Ten clicks of the talk. Keep that head moving. A little double jab to the head. Round comes to an end. And it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. Because listen to me, man. If you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches. Round number five has arrived. Gonzalez is ready to go. He looks like he's in good shape for this round. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Gonzalez's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. You can see him timing that double jab to the head. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Uppercut! Latin Snake showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. That round comes to an end. A round that I do believe he won. He fought much better there compared to what we saw out of him earlier. Yeah, don't show me how somebody behaves when they're winning. You know, really, I want to see how someone behaves when they're losing. He's behaving the right way. He's getting himself back into this thing. Next round, let's keep busy. here as we start this round I mean you watch what he did in that last round and you gotta think that he can get himself back into this fight well that's how he's got to be thinking it that's kind of what he's made up of he's not a front runner you know he's not a fast starter anyway he's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away chip away he's chipping all right, what's the answer here, Teddy? I mean, time and time again, he is getting hit with headshots by that right hand. The answer is not going to help him. The answer is to go back to the gym and be taught properly how to get away from that punch. Probably too late now. Not able to land the headshot. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then, oh boy, is it going to be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in mid-fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. More than this guy. We can pull it ahead, but we've got to fight. We've got to keep going. You got it? You've got to do it. Come on. 
Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Little head hunting with the left. The Latin Snake's trying to get his man off of him. You see him shoving and pushing. Gonzalez is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. 10 seconds to go in the seventh. You need to keep that head moving. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? I mean, you are winning this fight. Good, good, nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Body, then head. Let's finish this. Don't doubt yourself. You can still win. I'm always interested in how a fighter's disposition can change during the course of a fight. And as we start round number eight here, you see that he is up. But all it takes is a little momentum to build against him, and this thing could turn around. Well, the real testing of a fighter, the real testing of a professional is what they can do late. Can they keep it up? or do they become satisfied? Nice. We're gonna find out right now how this guy is in those areas. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. The Latin Snake's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his head dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. Fine-looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. You gotta watch the water in the corner. That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Gonzalez is doing well here with that two-punch combination. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. 90 seconds into the ninth round. There you go. Keep working the body. Gonzalez is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. No, he missed that right. End of the round, and that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything. You know, he wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you could just outwork him a little. Nice work. He's hurt. I need you to jump on him in this round, all right? I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? Upstairs, downstairs, and over again. You don't need that. And now they start round number 10. The Latin Snake's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, 
Let's get the combination working, land both punches. Gonzalez is whiffing there. A big, wide, sweeping shot. I mean, perfect to counter against. Yes, it is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time, he's going to capitalize on it. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Double jab right to the face. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And that's the end of round 10. He's got nothing left. And just go for the head. Knock him out, it's done. Relax, relax. You can do this. You know. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side and boom! Counter. 11th round now underway. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard. Well, he's got a comfortable lead, according to you, Teddy. Yeah, he just sat and had a very nice dinner. You know what? Don't be a golf owner now. Finish up, clean yourself a little bit, use your napkin, walk away from the table. Go digest your meal. Have your win. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Good. Gonzalez is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Gonzalez is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Able to land the hook to the head. Come on, Listen, he's going to get desperate here. He's going to come forward now because he has to. Be careful. No need to get excited. You came to win. Throw more punches. You're not throwing enough punches. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him this round. They meet up one more time. The last round has arrived. Cover up! Cover up! Does a nice job of backing him into the corner there. Gonzalez has landed a good, solid combination. It's all right, just keep moving. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. The Latin Snake showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. <laughs> Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. Listen, he was the better fighter. He was the busier fighter. He's the fighter that absolutely deserves to have that unanimous decision go the way it did. And you never like to say this. I say it in jest, but this is one where you could have made up the scorecards before the fight. Unfortunately, sometimes these judges do. But tonight... It turned out okay. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.